Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series on power electronics. In last few lectures, I have discussed various topics on DC-DC converter or chopper. Now today, I'll take some examples from previous year gate question papers and I'll solve it to show you that how to solve the questions which come in gate or gate level of questions. Today, my audio system may not be very good. So please bear with this one. So let's start. I have tried to improve the audio system, but it's not that good like other days. Okay, let's start. So here I have taken question from 2000, uh, question from choppers in 2021 to 2020, uh, 2017. So now in 2021, this was a problem given. So first step is to, we have to read the problem very carefully. We have to read the problem very carefully. Then we have to find out what are the data we given and we will find, then we will find out what are the asked to find out. Now in this examples first, consider the boost converter shown here. So this is the boost converter. I have discussed what is the structure of the boost converter. Boost converter means step up, means diode is up position. Now here, this is the circuit given this way. This is the up position we will consider. Now in this boost converter, Q is operating at 25 kilohertz. So first information what we are getting here. What I am getting here is the switching frequency is 25 kilohertz. So what is the switching frequency? F S W if I write that is equals to 25 kilohertz. So first I will write down the what is the given data. This is the first information. Next the with a duty cycle of 0 0.6. So duty cycle if I denoted by D this is equals to 0 0.6. Assume the diode and switch is ideal. So if I consider this one, so what is the input power will be similar to the output power. There is no loss in between input and output power. Under steady state condition, average resistance R in seen by the source is how much ohm? That we have to find out. That is the R in average value. That we have to find out. That is looking from the source side. Now, if I looking, if I look from the source side, so first of all, what we can write that R in expression, if I want to find out, that is a Vs by Is. What is Vs? Suppose say this is Vs plus minus. What is Is? This is Is. So if I find out the Vs by Is, then we'll find, we'll be able to find out the R in. Now, so what is the Vs voltage given? So Vs voltage given is 15 volt. This is information given. What info, What else information gives L? L is 1 milli Henry. So 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. This is the information given. What else? Capacitor value is given. C equals to 100 microfarad. Next, what else given? That is the RL. I am writing here. RL is given 10 ohm. So, one information is available to us. That's it. Sorry, this one. This is the information which is available to us. What else required? I need IS. Now, how I, how I can find out IS? That is, before that, let us find out the VO expression. VO expression, and this is the boost converter. So, we can write this is the VS by 1 minus D. This is the VO expression. Let me write it here. VO expression is equals to Vs by 1 minus D. And one more information is that ideal condition switch. So therefore, Vs Is can be written equals to VO IO. Now Vs can be written here. What I can write? Basically, we can express Is in terms of IO. Now, 
IO is available or not? IO is available as to us. What is that? That is the VO by RL. So what is VO? What is IO? IO is here. VO. VO we can find out by using this expression. And RL is given. So we can find out IO. Now what is IS expression? So VS equals to VO by 1 minus D. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I am extremely sorry. So let us Vs is equals to Is, which is equals to suppose say Vs by one minus d into I naught. Vs Vs will be cancelled out. So what I can get? Is equals to I naught by one minus d. This expression we are going to use it here. This is another one. Now, what is the VO? Let us find out VO first. VO first. VO is Vs, 15 volt, 1 minus, what is the duty cycle? 0 0.6. So, 15 by 0 0.4. So, what I will get it? 15 by 0 0.4. Let me calculate. Fifteen by zero point four. So we are getting thirty seven point five. Oh, sorry, we don't need this one anyway. Another way we can also can do it. Another way we also can do it. That is suppose that this is the VL RL. Now if I um, express this R in, that is Vs. What is Vs? Vs we can write Vo into 1 minus D. And what about the Is? I is equals to Io into by 1 minus D. So this will be 1 minus D square. So this is what? Vo by, Iro, uh, Vo by Io, which we can write Rl equals to Vo by Io. And that is RL is given. So this is we can write RL into 1 minus D square. So therefore, this is 10 into what is 1 minus D square? This is 0 0.4 square. So this will be 1.6 ohm. So this is the RL. 1.6 ohm. So this is problem number one. So next problem number two. Consider a bug boost converter shown here. Q is operating at 25 kilohertz and 0.75 is the duty cycle. So F S W is 25 kilohertz. It's looking 26 plus 25 kilohertz. K is small. And what is duty cycle? 0.75. Assume the switch is ideal. So if we switch and diode is ideal. Next, under steady state condition, average current flowing through the inductor is how much? So we have to find out the average inductor current. Average current flowing through the inductor. Now, what is what else is given? It is given the Vs, which is equals to 20 volt. And L value is given. One into 10 to the power minus 3. R is given, RL, which is given 10 ohm. Average inductor current. Okay. Now, here let us, what, uh, what is the expression we can find out? That is, suppose say VO by VS which is equals to as it is the bug boost converter. So we can write D by one minus D. D is provided and Vs is provided. So uh, Vo can be found out as Vs into D into one minus D. So this is equals to 
what is the vs vs is 20 volt 20 into 0 0.75 by 1 minus 0 0.75 so this will be 0 0.25 so this is equal to 20 into 0 0.75 by 0 0.25 so this is equals to 20 into 3 equals to 60 volt this is v output now what else we can find out we can find out i output how we can find out rl is given so v o y r l so what is v o 60 volt what is rl rl is 10 so we will get this is 6 ampere current the i not i not is flowing this way now whenever let us come back to this one whenever we turn on this switch there will be a current flow through this whenever they turn off this switch this current doesn't flow only this current is flow this current io is the average current through the load so if i talk about the average current from this so this is suppose say this is the average current is is from the source so if is is the average current through the source and this is the io so total i l average will be I S source average plus I O that is the average current through the load. So therefore, how can how we can find out the I S? We can find out the I S which is equals to I O into uh, the same expression that is V S I S equals to V O I O. From this expression, we can find out the I S. I S equals to I O into D by one minus D this one now let us find out the what is 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 can we find out io is available this is 6 ampere into 0 0.75 by 1 minus d which is 0 0.25 this is 0 0.25 so this will be 3 times 6 into 3 so it will be 18 ampere is the is what is the i output 6 ampere so this will be 18 ampere plus 6 ampere so 24 ampere this is the il current sorry ampere is given so this is problem number two is solved now let us to the uh, go to the problem number three the problem number three says that the dc dc converter shown in the circuit here this is the dc dc converter shown in the circuit q is switched at a frequency of 10 kilohertz so first information what i am getting that is that if SW is 10 kilohertz, this is 10 kilohertz. First information duty ratio is 0 0.6, D equals to 0 0.6. Now, what I get all the components are ideal and initial inductor current is considered to the zero. So, IL initial inductor current IL T equals to zero, that is equals to zero. Initial inductor current is zero. Energy stored in the inductor in millijoule at the end of 10 complete switching cycles. So we have to find out the energy through this one. Energy stored in the inductor. So uh, how we can solve it? So first, if I find out that inductor current expressions, if I can find out, suppose that sorry this is the inductor current starting from zero so suppose after t on suppose when the q is on whenever this switch is t on so this will inductor will charge initially inductor is charged let us consider this is plus this is minus this is a vl across voltage across the l this one and then whenever it is turned off this will free will through this diode. So first current will increase. Suppose say, from this to this is the increased. This part. What is this value? Let us say I1. I am taking this is I1. This is T on. So after T on, how much are you getting? I on. So from this, from this, if I solve this one that is finally i have to find out the 
current through this inductor after 10 cycles. So then half Li square will give us the answer. I L square. Okay. So first, so if I write the expression that is that V S. Oh, by the way, I have not written the V S. That is also information provided. V S equals to how much it is given? 50 volt. V S is the 50 volt. Okay. Now here, let me write down. This is V S one. This is V S one. This is V S two. So V S two is also 50 volt, but polarity is different. It means this is how the it is arranged. So for from the first one, what we can find out that is the V S one, which is equals to V L V S one equals to V L. That is equals to L D I one. Suppose say D T. If I take this is D I one. So if I integrate this. I am coming from the basics part. So basically, you know this part. That is d i one integration of zero to t on, which is equals to v s one by l into d t integration of sorry, I am extremely sorry. Zero to i one as per this concept. This is i one. This will be zero to t on. So what we can write? We can write here that is I one, which is equals to this part. Let us say V S T one by V S T one by L. So this is I one. Now let us say after this is the T of time. This is T of and it is decaying to another value I two. Decaying to another value that is suppose say I two. This one, I two. Suppose wh what is the value of I two? So whether that will see, uh, we will see whether it is zero or not. That we will see. So similarly, in another case, what is happening? This is the flow of current. If I see this flow of current, so this therefore we can see V L is equals to minus of V S two. So what we can find out that is that uh, L D I D T. So d i2 suppose say integration which is equals to minus of v s2 by l into dt integration of this one so what we can find out here there is starting from i1 to suppose say i2 this is i2 we have to find out is the t on to total time t so what we can find out i2 minus i1 which is equals to minus of v s by l into t of and that is nothing but t minus t on so duty cycle is provided so we can find out this one also how we can find out let us find out that i2 equals to i1 minus of v s t minus t on by l So this one also I can write that is V S into this is duty cycle by L into F S W. These are the information is available to us. So V and this one will be V S. So what is this value I one? Uh, let me uh, find out I one. Okay, let me first ex ex uh, express this one. That is the V S by L into F S W into D. Uh, sorry, this is one minus D. This is one minus D. That is I one minus. So let us go and go to the next page and find out I one and I two value. So what I found out I one equals to V S one by L into FSW into D. So what is the D here? D is 0 0.6 and this is 50 volt. 50 into 0 0.6 
by L. How much is the value? Sorry, L is 10 milli Henry. So 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 into what is the switching frequency? 10 kilohertz. 10 into 10 to the power 3. So um, if I change the color, this and this will go cancel out. So what what is remaining? Z, sorry, um, 30 by 100. So 0 0.3 ampere. This one. Now let us find out the I2. What is I2? That is I1 minus of. What is that? Minus of Vs. That is the 50 into 0 0.4. It is the L into FSW. L into FSW, we can, I have seen here, this is solved here. This is 100. So therefore, what I am getting, this is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2. So getting 0 0.1 ampere. I2 is 100. So if I draw it, so it is starting from 0. So it is going from I1, that is 0 0.3 ampere. And then again coming back to the 0 0.1 ampere, 0 0.1 ampere. Then basically again it will go 0 0.3, so it will go to the 0 0.4, 0 0.4 ampere. Again it will come back to the minus 0 0.2. This is the uh, delta I, 0 0.2. So basically it will come at the 0 0.2 ampere. So this way, this is one cycle, this is two cycle. So we can find out the relationship. Again it will go, it will continue this way up to 10 cycles so if i continue this one what we will get it 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 this is one what is the il we will get that is your 0 0.1 this is the after first cycle into 10 so after two cycles 0 0.1 into 2 so basically we can find out number of cycles into 0 0.1 from here from this expression or from this expression so 0 0.1 is number of cycles number of control cycle so this will give us the one ampere current so what is the energy energy will be half into l l is the 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 1 so this is the 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 joule so this will give 5 milli joule answer so it is asked in milli joule It is asked in millijoule. So what is the value? This will be 5. Next problem. Problem number 3. DC-DC buck converter operates in continuous conduction mode. So it is mentioned is the continuous conduction mode and buck converter. This is what mentioned. It has 48 volt input voltage and it's and it fit a resistive load 24 ohm so uh, buck converter vi is 48 volt and rl equals to 24 ohm this is convert switching frequency of the converter is fsw is how much this is equals to 200 sorry 250 hertz 250 hertz if the on duration is 1 millisecond on duration is given so t on is given 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 second t on the load power is how much in what load power in how much in what that is what we have to find out so duty cycle is given no we cannot give the get the duty cycle so uh, we need we have this information that is the t on by t or t on into f s w sorry t on by t so okay fine correct f s w which is equals to our duty cycle d This is duty cycle D. So now we can find out duty cycle equals to 1 into FSW, 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 250. So 250 
so if I write it here, 250 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 0 0.25 is the duty cycle. I can find out. 0 0.25 is the duty cycle. The load power. So load power is the suppose the output power is the load power that we can find out VO into IO. Now the once the VO is available to us, I hope IO will be available to us. Oh, sorry. And another way also we can find out that is that VO. This is into VO by RL. So we can find out VO square by RL. So what is VO? Now if we can find out RL is available to us, RL is given, V output, V input is given. So what is the V output? Converter is the buck converter. So V output equals to D into V input. So what is the D? D is 0 0.25. Okay, directly we can put it here. So um, the PO expression is that this is D into VS. What I have written? V i here. I have written V i. So V i square by R L. So what is the value we are getting? 0 0.25 into 48 by R L is how much? R L is 24. This is square. So if I So this is 12 into 12 by 24. 6 watt. This is 6. So 6 watt is the answer. So next problem. Problem number 4. In a DC DC boost converter, duty ratio is controlled. Duty ratio is controlled to regulate the power output voltage at 48 volt. The input voltage is 24 volt. So, what is the information? VI input voltage is 24 volt. And what is the V output? V output is, in our case, V output is 48 volt. V output is given, V input is given. Now, the power output PO is given. This is equals to 120 watt. Now, the switching frequency is FSW is equals to 50 kilohertz. Assume the ideal components of the components and large capacitors, so there is no uh, voltage ripple. Or ex ex expecting that there is voltage ripple. Okay, one more thing in process is given. The converter operates the boundary between continuous and discontinuous mode. Okay. The for the value of inductor is induct value of inductor is how much? So boundary of this one means in uh, discontinuous continuous suppose inductor current is increasing so this is uh, increasing for t1 it is increasing and t off it is increasing the moment it is touching immediately it is going on increasing immediately it is increasing to this value again it is touching again this, this way this is how this is the t off this is t on this is total time t this is total time t this is t on this is t off Similarly, this continuous. So this is the condition of the boundary between continuous and discontinuous. There is no discontinuity and it is almost continuous. It is just touching zero and going. So initial current will be zero. Final current will be our this value. Suppose say this value is suppose say I1. So this value will be our final current for through the inductor. Now uh, what are the information? We can find out the duty cycle. So duty cycle is how much? This is equals to, okay, uh, let me find out V output by V input, which is equals to duty cycle. In terms of duty cycle, if I write with the boost converter. So boost converter means this is 1 by 1 minus D. So from here, we can find out the duty cycle D. 
d will be equals to v o minus v in by v o. So what is given? V output is forty eight minus v input is twenty four by forty eight. So basically twenty four by forty eight. So this is called zero point five is the duty cycle. So we have found out the duty cycle here. Next, what we can find out? Uh, if I draw, let me draw this one. Inductor. This is the sub source voltage. This will be switch, boost converter. This will be diode. And capacitor is given. Okay, now let let me draw capacitors. This is V uh, O is plus minus. This is through this. This is I L average. V in average. So S. This is D. Now whenever the switch is on, this is the throw of current flow through this. Whenever switch is off, this is the throw of current flow. Current flows through this. So. If we can find out I O, what is the I O we can find out? Power output is given, V output is given, power output is given, V output is given. So this is one twenty. Why I am finding out I O? Because I L is is equals to the source average average value of the I L is equals to average value of I S. If I this is average value of I S, so average value of I L will be equals to Average value of I S, and this I S we can find out very easily from this I naught. What is I naught and what is the output voltage? Output voltage is forty eight. So how much we are going to get it? So if I calculate one twenty by forty eight, so it will be two point five ampere. So I am getting two point five ampere. So I not now let us find out the I S. What is the relationship between I S? I S equals to I O by one minus D for ideal switching condition, ideal network. Switch is ideal. All the components are ideal. So this is the condition. Now, what is I S? We get it. I S is equals to two point five by one by zero point five. So double. This is the five ampere. I S is five ampere. Now, once I S is available to us, we can get the value of av average value of I L, average value current average, I L A V, A V. Okay, current I L, the I L A V, or let us denote it as I L. Now, let us find out the this part, delta I. Let us go to this. So if I uh, during the turn on switch is on, then what will happen? V I equals to V L. So V L will be equals to V I. This one. So L D I I L suppose D T, which is equals to this I L equals to source current also. This one equals to V I. So now. D I I have already done this type of integration many times, so directly I am writing here is equals to D T integration zero to T on. This is suppose say zero to I one. Now what I am getting this I one minus dot, so it will get the zero to I one. I one is the peak value, so delta I I that is equals to I one minus zero. Which is equals to how I one minus zero, which is equals to V I into T on by L, which is equals to V I into duty cycle by L into F S W. You can find out this one. Now, from this expression, you can find out the S L L value. You have to find out. So L value is equals to this is equals to delta I. Delta I into F S W 
and V i into D. So what is the delta i? Delta i is delta i. We can write delta i equals to have the two i's of the source current, two i's of I s. not i l twice of i l so this equals to i s so with this concept i can tell you v i y twice into 5 ampere how much it is there is a 5 ampere twice into 5 into what is the switching frequency 50 kilohertz 50 into 10 to the power 3 and what is the vi vi is our input voltage 24 volt 24 into 0 0.5 so what will be the final final value that is 12 by 500 into 10 to the power minus 3 so sorry 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 sorry, sorry 10 to the power 3 so here it will be 10 to the power minus 3 and what is the value we are getting? See, this is 12 by 500. So 0 0.024 into this one, that's Henry. So 24 into 10 to the power minus 6 Henry. So we can write 24 milli and micro Henry. Okay. So what is the value? Value is in micro and it is asked this will be 24 okay okay <clears throat> next problem next the problem is such that the figure shows here the buck boost uh, buck converter two buck converters so the two buck converters connected in parallel the common input DC voltage common uh, input DC voltage for converter is 100 volt. So this is the two buck converter. If you see, um, this is one buck converter. This is one and two converter connected in parallel. Another one buck another buck converter is that if I take this part. This one. This is another buck converter. Basically, here it is not. Uh, here we can uh, complete this one by connecting this way. Let me change the color. I think it will be better if I change the color. If I connect it this way, then it will be easier for understanding. This is one buck converter, then the other. Because this is sorted completely, this path is completely sorted. We can connect it, no issues. So this gives us complete circuit. Now what is asked? So V input, input, sorry, let me change the color. V input is 100 volt. And then, and the converters are identical, converter, inductors have identical. So all the switch diode to these inductors have identical, I hope, there. And this one is 1 ampere, RL. RL equals to 1, sorry, RL equals to 1 ohm. Both the converters in the continuous conduction mode. So they are in continuous conduction mode. Switching frequency FSW is how much? 1 kilohertz. So 1 into 10 to the power 3 hertz. This is switching frequency. And how they are switching signals? The switching signals are given. This is S1 and this one S2. Both are complementary in fashion. Whenever the S1 is on, S2 is off. Whenever S2 is on, S1 is off. So they are complementary in each other, complementary to each other. This is how this is operated. So next, the switching frequency done. The circuit operates in steady state assuming that the converter shares the load equally so both the converter is shared is load equally so load sharing is equal so this is very important part we will use it the average value of the is1 for s1 is how much you have to give it average value of current through this through this path is1 through this switch s1 that we have to find out 
now first what we can find out that switching frequency is given is there any information about uh, duty cycle duty cycle is not given we can find out output voltage that is ha huh, duty cycle is given here we can find out the, uh, the that is the total time period is 1 millisecond and t on is 0.5 millisecond so duty cycle is basically 0.5 that information is available so now we can easily this is the buck converter so v output equals to d into vs or vi so what is that value what is d d is equal to 0.5 what is vi input voltage equals to 100 volt so what is the output voltage we will get this is the 50 volt 50 volt is the output voltage next what we can find out we can find out output current this is equals to v output by rl so rl is 1 ohm this one so 50 by 1 so it equals to 50 ampere this is the current and one more thing is that assuming that the converters are share load equally so they are sharing the load equally that means what the load current suppose say here i Zero, and this one suppose say I not one, and this one suppose say I not two. So therefore, equal sharing means I not will be equals to I zero one plus I zero two, and and I not one is equals to I not two. So this is the important. This is the meaning of the they are sharing load equally. Okay. So we have found out this. two expression now from this two expression what we can write that is equals to i not equals to i01 plus i02 and this is equals to suppose say twice of i01 now what is i01 there is the load lo output current from the converter 1 from converter 1 output current from converter 1 how much it is this is the i not by 2 so what is i i not i not is 50 ampere so 50 by 2 so this is 25 ampere so i01 we have found out now if we can find out the i s1 that is the input current from the source that we can find easily so if i the i s what is the relationship between i s and i out i s and i out relationship between normal in normal boost converter what is that in v output equals to d into v in or suppose say vs so now the place change so this is also will be d into vs okay just interchange this place for i so i s1 which is equals to d of i o1 now what is d d equals to 0.5 what is i01 25 ampere so this is equals to 12.5 ampere this is equals to is1 done so that is what it is asked so this is 12.5 ampere in ampere it is asked so it is 12.5 is the answer so this is problem number 5 this is in the 2018 gate next another problem is given this one problem number 6 a dc dc converter shown in the figure charging the battery b2 whose voltage is 150 constant at 150 volt b1 is another battery whose voltage is 50 volt now l is 5 milli henry and the switch is uh, ideal and ideal switch ac is operated the 5, 5 kilohertz 0.4 is the duty ratio once the circuit is admitted attended attend steady state and assuming the diode to be ideal the power transfer from b1 to b2 in watt is how much 
Mm. So, what are the information available? V of B1 is 50 volt. V of B2 is 150 volt. 150 volt. Duty ratio 0 0.4. And if SW is 5 kilohertz, so 5000 hertz, what else information is given? This is all uh, L, L value, L is equals to 5 milli Henry. That's all. Now we have to find out the power transfer between B to A. That means from source to that is that side this side from this side power transfer from this to this that is what we have to find out now so if let us check the v output voltage how much it is it is boost converter so input voltage suppose vb1 by vb1 by 1 minus d so 50 by 0 0.5 6 how much it is let me check 50 by 0 0.6 so it is coming 83 volt 83.3 volt but what is the output voltage the 150 so they are not matching so considering 150 volt what is the output voltage we will get so we are considering we are considering 150 volt so duty cycle will be v o minus v uh, suppose in v v v one sorry v two minus v v one by v v two so this one will be one fifty minus fifty by one fifty so this will be one hundred by one fifty sorry one fifty so this will be two by three zero point uh, six seven so this is the duty cycle if we have to match with this condition but in this case we are going to get this one so that means if we get 0 0.67 duty cycle then there will be a continuous conduction but in our case duty cycle is less than this one 0 0.4 less than this one so therefore there is a discontinuous conduction here now whenever there is a discontinuous conduction we have to find out the expressions the normal expressions will not work so let us see how what happens in case of discontinuous conduction this is the time this is i suppose i l it it starts from zero and from t at t1 it is reaching at this point suppose say. this is t or t on on time this is the on time and off time this is suppose say, this is the off time this is t off now before reaching to the t off it is hitting to the point zero this point it is hitting zero this before reaching to again it will start from here so this will be the characteristic this is the discontinuity there is a this is the discontinuity here it is the discontinuous current is not continuous now so how to express this one let us uh, say this is the t total time period time period t and let us consider this is delta 1t how we can find out this is the delta 1t so we have to find out the expression of input and output voltage in terms of duty cycle so let us first find out delta i so in case of delta i there is no issue this will be the vs this is the vs into d by l into t on sorry fsw this is vs into t on by l is equal to vs into t on by l this is the delta i for 
during charging on condition during on condition during off condition the same same current it falls down to the zero so same same height this is that and this will be there minus so this will be v output if you say minus v s by l into t of t of so here what i can write that is basically we can write this way integration of dt from t on to how much this is delta t1 delta 1t this to this so we can write vs sorry vo minus vs by l into how i am writing this one please see this boost converter expression boost converter lecture where i have discussed how i am going to get this expressions so this part will be delta 1t minus t on this fine now let us equate this this is vs into vs into t on by l l l will be cancel out let me change the color it will be useful for you so v is into t on equals to v o into delta 1 t minus t on minus of if i take minus this side then it will be plus minus this side this will be plus so this one will be v s into delta t1 sorry delta 1t minus t on so t on t on will be cancel out so what part left out this is the vs into delta 1t which is equals to v output into delta 1t minus t on t on now if i write here that this t1 equals to what d into t so t t will be cancel out we will get the v output by v input relationship v s which is equals to v output by v i here so how much it is v s is down so delta 1 by delta 1 minus d this is the expression delta 1 minus d so if i use this expression in the previous case so what we will get here we will get v what is the v output v b2 so v b2 by v b1 which is equals to how much this is equals to suppose say delta 1 by delta 1 minus d now this is not the d here this is not the d this is just this is just for checking this is just for checking whether it is discontinuous conduction or not because we are getting this one duty cycle is given this one so considering that duty cycle delta 1 by delta 1 minus 0 0.4 from this what we get it this is v2 is 150 and this is 50 so we get 3 into delta 1 minus 0 0.4 which is equals to delta 1 or delta 1 can be delta 1 can be equals to 3 into 0 0.4 by 2 this is equals to 1.2 122 by 2 0 0.6 so delta 1 is 0 0.6 now once i find out the delta 1 what we can find out here um, the question is asked power transfer okay so power transfer from the source so we have to find out the current through this one average current il il average we need the il average then il average into vb1 will give us the power transfer from this so power transfer from the source to b1 to b2 or transfer from b1 to b2 will be
P T at V1 to V2. So what will be that? This will be V B1 into I L average. Now if we can find out the I L average, we can find out that. How to find out I L average? Because there we need this one. So I L average will be how much? Suppose uh, this value is delta I. So this is half. This is the triangle if I take it as a triangle. So this is the half into delta I. This is the magnitude. You can take any value. You can take if you take I1, then you put it by I1. No issues. This is the peak value. I1 into into let us let me take this peak value is the delta I is delta I is equals to I1. So this will be I1 into your uh, next is delta 1 T by total time T. This we can find out. Now we have to find out I1 delta I. Delta I we have to find out. Then only we can find out this TT will be cancelled out. This t, this t will be cancelled out. So delta I will be from on time we can find out this one. This is equals to Vs uh, that is Vb1 into your uh, duty cycle by our um, D1 duty cycle by L into Fsw. Okay. So let me put it here. One by two into L F S W V B one is fifty volt into duty cycle is zero point four into the delta one is zero point six. Uh, now, if I am taking this one, if we calculate uh, replacing this, so L, how much is the L value? L is 5 milli entry. So 5 to into 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into what is the uh, sorry, what is the switching frequency? Switching frequency is 5 kilohertz. So 5 into 10 to the power 3. So this, this will cancel out. So basically, what we are getting, this is okay. So what we are getting, so I L A B. This will be five, fifty. So fifty into uh, zero point two four. 0.24 by 50 cancel out so 0.24 ampere now let us find out the power this is the power transfer pt which is equals to vb150 into 0.24 how much it is 50 into 0.24 12.5 watt so this is 12.5 watt okay in what this is 12.5 cents <sighs> this figure quite big anyway but uh, actually I have derived this expression so that it took a little bit more time Next problem is DC DC, uh, DC DC back boost converter which is given in the figure uh, input voltage is varying from this 0 to 3, uh, 32 to 72 volt assume all the components are ideal current is continuous and output voltage is ripple free range of the duty ratio from the uh, duty ratio of the converter which 
for which magnitude of the steady state output voltage remains constant is 48 watt 48 volt so what you have to do so bug boost converter if i say so it will be v output by v input which is equals to d by 1 minus d so therefore uh, v output is uh, v output is remain constant v our input is varying so we have to find out the range of duty cycle range of duty cycle so if i uh, if, uh, express in terms of v so v output into 1 minus d which is equals to v input into d okay uh, then v output equals to that means the d is equals to v i minus v out sorry v i plus v output is this one this one is minus it will come here the v out plus plus v is output so the dut cycle equals to v output by v input plus v output that is what i can find out so now if i mm, take the first condition that is case one if i take d1 means this is the output voltage 48 output voltage 48 this is the input voltage is 32 suppose say plus 48 so how much it is 48 by 80 6 by 10 3 by 5 so 1 is 3 by 5 now for case 2 d2 which will be equals to suppose say 48 by 72 plus 48 120 by 48 it's 2 by 5 so d is varying from 2 by 5 to 3 by 5 so this will be the answer